Good morning, world. I am Judy, your web-based therapist, making therapy accessible and convenient for our clients in Florida and New York, and of course, sharing information worldwide. Today, I want to talk about five tips or five things, five easy things you can do to help people cope with these um, 2020 holiday seasons. Um, Because, you know, with the pandemic, the holiday season is different. A lot of people are missing a lot of what they normally do, what a lot of what makes the holiday season feel like the holiday season. So it's important that we're doing whatever we can to help each other cope, to help make the season still pleasant, still joyful, still good for the people around us. So today I want to talk about five things that we can do to help do with that. Um, But before I get in, I want to take a quick moment and say, if you are subscribed, thank you so very much for being a part of our world. And if you're not yet subscribed, please take a quick moment and sub. Click the subscribe button below so that you can be a part of this wonderful world of ours. And of course, remember to tick the bell so that you are notified when I post new videos so that you don't miss anything. And of course, if you'd like to purchase one or three of my books, also a link below that will take you to a site that shows you all your different options of places where you could get one or three of my books. Okay, let me get back to it. First thing I've been recommending is get together get together virtually for favorite holiday activities things like you know i talked before about decorating the tree on a um on a virtual on a video conference where each person from their respective homes can be decorating their tree but because you guys have the and remember to put it on a big screen like on a tv not sitting there on the phone doing it um Because that way it feels like you guys are together because you're all doing the same activity at the same time and you still get to enjoy each other. Cooking together is all is another great activity. Um, like hey, if you do the gingerbread thing, do the get the get your gingerbread um pieces, or maybe you get the ingredient and you make the boards or whatever it is. Or maybe there's a favorite activity, a favorite cooking with grandma, whatever it is that you can do. Do get together virtually for favorite holiday activities because just because you cannot go home this year does not necessarily mean you have to miss out on all the good things about being home on all the holiday festivities and celebrations that you normally would enjoy. Two, send favorite treats to those who can't come home. For example, if um. If maybe you you make this cookie that's really great that everyone in your family looks forward to. So since your family's not coming home, maybe a great gift would be to make those cookies and send them to people to send a little piece of home to them. Um, Cookies or favorite recipe, your gingerbread pieces so that you can make whatever that holiday treat that people look forward to when they go home for the holidays. If you're the one who makes it, make it and send it to someone. And maybe your family has more than one and each one of you guys send your specialty. And before you know it, you guys had the same family dinner or family celebration together at your own homes, wherever, however far it is. Um, Three, make time to call and check in on each other. This is super important because a lot of people have been very much isolated. People are not going to work. People are not going out. People are not spending, we're not getting that outdoor, that human interaction. So make time to call. No, it's not text. Make time to call and check one on one another. And if you have groups that you usually hang out with, group chats, a virtual happy hour, those types of things, they make, they go a long way. They make a big difference. So make time to call and check on one another. People don't necessarily call to say, hey, I am in a funk. People don't necessarily call you to tell you that they are not doing well. It's when you reach out to them that you find out or that you realize that they are not doing well. So make that time because you don't want to you don't want to just assume that, hey, since they're not calling me, it must mean that they're doing well. Make time to call and check on one another because it has been that kind of year where many of us have not been at our best. And this year, as the holidays roll roll around and we keep seeing, hey, this is how it's going to be impacted, 
a lot of people will continue to not do well. We know we have seasonal affective disorder season that is um, pretty much we're in the middle of it right now. And a lot more people will be experiencing that winter depression. So make sure that you're reaching out. You're making time to call and check on those around you, your friends, your loved ones, and maybe that person that maybe you guys are not close or that, that close, but you know this person does not have a bunch of people checking on them. So check on one another because that's how you find out when someone needs you. Four, allow people to feel what they feel. It's one thing to want to keep a positive attitude. It's one thing to not go down the rabbit hole with a person and not stay there and dwell on a negative feeling. But you do not get to tell a person that they cannot be sad, that they cannot feel a certain way. Allow people to have their feelings. Allow people to have their sense of loss. Allow people to feel super joyful and excited and ecstatic about this holiday season. Whatever someone feels is what they feel, even if you do not feel the same way, even if you do not agree, even if you do not um, see their reasoning, allow people to feel what they feel. This does not mean that you don't take the time to help bring a smile to someone who's feeling sad. This does not mean that you can't help spread some cheer, spread some holiday cheer. What it means is that you don't dismiss, you don't tell a person, well, you shouldn't feel that way. Or there are people that have it worse than you. That's, a, that's the common thing. It does not matter how bad everyone else has it. That does not make one person less capable, less entitled, less allowed. I always say my, um, my paper cut will always hurt me way more than your broken leg hurts me. I might feel bad for you and your broken leg. Maybe if you break two legs, I might feel even worse for you. But I can promise you my paper cut will hurt me more than any broken whatever someone else may have. So let people feel what they feel. Allow them to be where they are and help them. If you can help them get to a happier place, then help them get to a happier place. But don't make them feel bad. Don't dismiss them. Don't make them feel guilty. Don't make them feel like they're not allowed to have whatever it is, whatever feeling that they have. Finally, spread kindness. It's been a difficult year. It's been, it's been 2020, okay? We've all had some level of, oh, so... As we work our way through the last few days of this year, be kind. You don't know what people are going through. You don't know how much people are hurting. You don't know what is happening with someone. Be kind. However, you can spread a little bit of kindness, whether it is with your friends and family, whether it is people at work, or that random guy that just was so rude on the road, be kind because you don't know. You may be that one opportunity for that person to feel, experience, and a smile that day. So whatever you can do to spread a little bit of kindness, take the time and do that. Because right now, we need it. We really, really need it. As individuals, as a community, as a society, we can use the kindness. So take the time. Be kind. People you know, people you don't know, People you don't even care about. Just let's start a kindness movement. Okay, let's do a quick recap. First, do virtual get-togethers with your friends and family and people in your lives because, hey, why not? That's a, that's a good way to keep the holidays going, even in 2020. Two, send favorite holiday treats to people who cannot make it home. If you're the special ginger snap person, hey, Make a batch or make a few batches and box them up nice and pretty and send them to the people who would normally enjoy them at your house if they could travel to your house this year. Three, make time to call in and check on one another. Group chats are great, but individual calls are just as good. People will not call to tell you that they are not doing well, but if you reach out to them and you check on them, you will find out if someone's not doing well. 
or you'll just be another person that they get to have a fun conversation with, whichever one it is. Please make time to call and check on other people, on one another. Four, allow people to have their feelings. It's been a difficult year. Many, many of us are struggling and it's okay. Allow people to have their feelings. You don't have to wallow with them. You can help them get to a better feeling place, but don't tell them that they're not allowed. It doesn't matter how much is going on with anyone else. Whatever a person feel is what they feel. So don't try to, don't make them feel bad about it. Let them feel what they feel. Help them if you can. And if you can't, at least don't make them feel bad about, worse about it. And finally, please share, kind, share kindness. Spread as much kindness as you can because right now we need it. Our society needs it. Our world needs it. Everyone, even uh, like every one of, even us who are going to be spreading that kindness, we can use the kindness because when you share kindness, it comes back to you. So please take the time, do something kind, share a smile, bring a smile to a stranger's face, especially including the guy who just flipped you off on the highway. It's okay to let him through. Yeah, I, yeah, it's okay to let him through. I'm going to try to remember that as I drive this evening. <laughs> Um, as always, if you or someone you know happens to be going through something that's more than you can handle, please remember that there are professionals like myself who are available, able, and willing to help and are even providing remote services who can assist with whatever you may have going on. So please figure out who those people are in your community so that if you need them, you can reach out and get the help that you need. And that is all we have for today. Morning world. Have an awesome day.